Hi, Holly here from Let's Plan Planners, making a quick tutorial video to show you my new 2025 weekly planner. Now I'm using an iPad with the GoodNotes 6 app to read my planner. This planner can be used on different devices with different apps. If you need help with the particular app you're using, um, head to YouTube and search it. You will find a lot of advice there. Most apps work in a similar way, so it would be beneficial still to watch this video. One thing you need to know when you are a GoodNotes user is you will have two modes. You have hyperlink mode and editing mode. The way you can tell between those is if your toolbar is showing. So you would click this pen icon up here to jump between the two modes. So when the toolbar is showing, this will allow you to write, let me show you. You could write in your planner. You can click on all these different tool icons and do what you need to do in the planner. And I have videos explaining um, how you would add things into your planner and a little bit about this toolbar. When you're ready to use your hyperlinks, you need to turn off this toolbar so it goes away. I'm going to show you. So I'm going to open the planner. So I'm in hyperlink mode now. If I want to jump to any of these tabs that are hyperlinked or any of the dates that are hyperlinked, I have to be in this mode. So that's a good thing for you to know if you're a GoodNotes user. I'm going to go back to the index page. So let me walk you through this calendar. It's very simple. I'm going to get you through one month and you'll get the gist. So this is the index. All of the um, dates or all of the months in the calendar are the same hyperlink tabs that you see on the outside. So you can get to them either way. So I'm going to click on the 2025 calendar, which I can click here or I could click here. It's going to take you to the 2025 calendar. Here you can write in if you have like birthdays or special events on each month that you want to remember. All of these little dates over here on the calendar are hyperlinked to get you to that week. So if I wanted to get to week one of January, I would click on the number one and it's going to take me to January's number um, first week page. So I'm going to go click on the January tab to show you what it's going to take you to if you go to January. All the months are laid out the exact same. The big zero one means it's the first month. So obviously if you click on December, you're going to see a 12 here. So this page, all of these uh, dates here in this little calendar are hyperlinked to get to your week. You have a um, bullet point list here if you need to keep track of stuff. This is uh, the 1 through 31 in your calendar if you want to write down anything you need to remember for those dates and then a little bit of space here to take more notes. So you can get through this planner one of two ways. When you're in your month, you can use the dates here to get to your weekly page. So if I clicked on number one, it's going to jump me to the next page and it's going to be the first week of January. Now, because the weeks don't, of course, lay out, um, you know, start again on a Monday every week, then you're going to have overlapping months. So if you see here, you have the 30th and the 31st because that's December. So the 1st of January starts on a Wednesday. So those extra days are in there because this is a Monday start calendar. So whatever day starts on Monday, it's going to continue in order throughout the whole year. So what you would do from this page when you're ready to get to your um, 6th of January, you could either use your finger and it's just gonna go in order. If you wanted to go when you get to the 12th and you wanna see the 13th, you can just go in order like this within each month, or you can come up here to this dated calendar and you can click on, let's say I wanted to go see the week of the 20th through the 26th. I, oh, I just clicked 27th, but you get the idea. You, all of these are hyperlinked. If I wanted to get to the 13th of January, oh, I'm back in February now, um, it's going to jump you to that page. So let me go back to January real quick. So let me show you here. This is the same kind of layout. So if I wanted to get to the 13th of January, there we are. So the 13th. Then let's say I wanted to get to the 23rd of January, which is a um, Thursday. You could click that. It's going to take you to the week that has the 23rd in it. So that's how, and there it is. So that's how the entire planner is laid out. So you can get through your weeks by using your hyperlink tabs or you can get through your weeks by using your finger and you can go back and forth for easy planning. And then when you're ready to get to the next month, you would just click on the next month tab. So you'd go to February, here's your kind of your overview page. And then you could, you know, click on February 1st. It'll take you to that February 1st page, which is right here. Then I'm ready to go to my next February week. There's my third through the ninth. And that's how it's going to work for the entire planner. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, just message me on Etsy. Happy planning.